A van of mass 600 kilograms is moving up a straight road which is inclined at an angle alpha to the horizontal where sine alpha is 1 15th. The van is towing a trailer of mass 150 kilograms. The van is attached to the trailer by a tow bar which is parallel to the direction of motion of the van and the trailer as shown in figure 1. The resistance to motion of the van from non-gravitational forces is modelled as a constant force of magnitude 200 newtons, and for the trailer, that's 100 newtons. The tow bar is modelled as a light rod. The engine of the van is working at a constant rate of 12 kilowatts. Find the tension in the tow bar at the instant when the speed of the van is 9 metres per second. So let's start with P equals FV. So 12 kilowatts, that's 12,000, is equal to 9F when V is equal to 9. And that makes F equal to 4,000 over 3 newtons. So that's the force from the engine. So now what we want to do is consider the two as a combined object. So we have 750 kilograms when we add the two things together. The force from the engine, which is 4,000 over 3, is acting that way. And the resistive forces are going this way. Now that's the component of the weight, which is going to be 750 times 9.8 times the sine of the angle here, which we know is 1 15th. So that's the gravitational forces. And then we combine the 200 and the 100 here into 300. And then we can use F equals MA because the object will be accelerating. I don't know for sure that it's accelerating that way, but I'm going to assume it, and it would come out in the wash when we do the math anyway. So the resultant force is 4,000 over 3. Take away 750 times 9.8 times 1 over 15 plus 300. And that must be equal to MA. Now, all of that is stuff that we can calculate. And so A is equal to 0 0.724 recurring meters per second squared. Now, to get the tension in the tow bar, we can consider the objects separately. And I only need to consider one of them. The easiest one to do is the trailer. So we know that that's 150 kilograms. And the force pulling it this way is what we're after, the tension in the tow bar. The acceleration now, of course, is the same. So 0 0.724 recurring. And the forces this way are the gravitational uh, component of the weight there. So 150 times 9.8 times 1 over 15. 150 this time because we're only considering the trailer. And that's plus 100 because, again, we're only considering the trailer. And the 100 is the non-gravitational resistance. And so T take away 150 times 9.8 times 1 over 15 plus 100 must be equal to the mass times the acceleration. And the only thing that we don't know there is the T, so it's just calculator work, and we get 306.6 recurring newtons.